Hey guys, the Monster here at the Monster Garage, and we are going to be installing our new uh, foot peg bracket, and this is for the F3. Uh, this will work on the driver and the passenger. Uh, same same bracket. Uh, we have adapters. You can put any Kuryakin peg on here. Uh, these are our uh, Monster large grippers. We're going to be installing this on the General Lee today. Uh, there's some tips and tricks that, that is very important that you follow. These little bolts here, uh, they are Loctited in. These are the stock bolts. And if you don't put a little heat to them, you'll strip out the heads of them. And trust me, I've done it. Uh, and, and it's not fun. Then you got to go in there and drill the heads out. Big pain in the butt. So we practice on doing it a few different ways, and we found out the best thing is just put a little heat. Um, if you got a typical propane torch, these run 20, 25 bucks at you know Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, these will work. If you use this, the flame's a little bit bigger than what I'm going to use on this, and we uh, I recommend pulling this pad off because uh, it, it the residual flame will you know could uh, burn the rubber a little bit. But these are going to be going away anyway. It's not that big a deal. Uh, the other thing is, if you use an Allen wrench, this is a number five Allen. You do not want to use a ball wrench on it. A ball wrench is bad. You want you want a square end. You want something that's going to fit in there tight. This is stainless steel, but it's actually pretty soft. Uh, so make sure you don't use a ball wrench. I've actually got a little socket in here. Once I break this loose, I should be able to do this. But so I'm going to show you about how much uh, heat to put on here. Oh, let me get my thing lit here. This is just a little butane. So just I'm going to go back and forth. Okay, I'm going to call that good, see if that works. I'll go ahead and put this in here. Ooh, it's still pretty tight. Let's see if it'll bust this. Yeah, that's still real tight, so it's going to need a little more heat. So uh, don't be afraid to put the heat to it. And with the bigger torch, I was able to not put as much as long, but I think this one's going to need a little bit more. So we'll see if this bus loose for me. There we go. So that one's busted loose. I can go ahead and put the socket on it. This is going into a little brass bushing. You're not going to be using the bushing. Um, but you will reuse the little rubber pieces in there. So that's why we don't want to get it too hot because we don't want to smoke the little rubber deals. I'll go ahead and pull this one all the way out. And you won't be reusing these bolts, so don't worry about that. Uh, that one's free. 
Okay, no more heat on this guy. Once again, this little butane torch is pretty cool. Really localizes the heat. And it's got a little soldering tip too, so like if you want to use it for soldering. Kind of a handy thing to have around your shop. I've never had one, but now i got a reason to. Okay, we'll try that. Get that bus loose. Yep, bus loose. So, not so bad. But anybody that has tried this without heat has had a problem, I guarantee you, because they just flat don't want to come out. One of them might come out, but one of them won't. Or maybe both of them won't. I tried it without heat on mine, and neither one of them came out. I wound up stripping out the head of one. I think PRP gets a real good deal on Loctite because they put a lot of it full. Oh, I don't know why. But this is the hardest part of the, the install, as you're going to see here. Pull that out. Stock peg comes out. <laughs> Look at all that Loctite that's still out of there. So, yeah, a lot of Loctite. So now all we got to do is just pop this bushing out. That's a 10 millimeter brass bushing, which you're not going to need anymore. And then on our pegs, there is a left and a right. And the reason you know what a left and a right is, your bolt's always going to want to go this way so the head of the bolt is going to face forward so like i said you leave these little rubber spaces in slide that in like so pop it in there and tighten that puppy up and the beauty of this is you don't have to deal with any of that loctite you can put a little bit on the end if you like uh, but it, this is a nice substantial bolt so you don't have to worry about stripping it out like the other ones uh, so you just go ahead and run it in till it snugs up Okay, let's give it a good, good tight, oh, good tighten it. All right, so now, uh, got your, that, that's all there is to the install. By having the rubber bushings on it, you're going to notice no more vibration. Uh, when I first put these on, I rode home about, I don't know, 10, 12 miles. And just before I got home, I realized Hey, I swapped the pegs out. I mean, it, there was really no difference. So, anyway, lamonstergarage.com. If you want to check them out, just go to the F3 category. These work on front and rear, and then we have all sorts of peg options. That's it, guys. Thanks.